What's going on everybody? This is Harold Jordan giving you a quick introduction to our newest episode on Fireside Chats. We'll be discussing the subject of witchcraft and modern day magicians. Uh, we pray that you would be able to gain some good knowledge and understanding. Uh, most of all, we hope that you enjoy it and that it will be fruitful to your life. We pray and God bless you. What is witchcraft? Uh, witchcraft can be uh, defined two ways. Uh, the most carnal or physical side of it is manipulation, intimidation, domination. That's the uh, most physical or carnal side of it. The second part of witchcraft can be um, the spiritual side from the aspect of uh, Things or forces that's outside of the physical realm. Using things or forces that are outside of the physical realm. So basically you're dealing with entities. Entities. Mm -hmm. Like demons and spirits. Yeah. Imps. Things like that. Yeah. 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 Just to bring some clarity. Um, so uh, like those that cast spells, like how you see in the movies and TVs, they're going to, or as in, since we here in South Carolina and Charleston that for a long time, ever since I was a little boy, they always talk about Dr. Buzzard, the root man, that's the witchcraft guy. So um I just want to get clarity. So um when they like casting spells and all this other stuff, that's when you practicing witchcraft, calling on evil spirits, right? Right. Okay. So what is the difference between uh witchcraft and magic? Well, uh, there is no difference. There's no difference between witchcraft and magic. Now, <clears throat> now from a biblical term, there is no difference between the two. I'm okay. going to establish that first. From a biblical term, there's no difference between the two. But when you get into uh, a more current time and date from a uh, a westernized philosophy because we live in America, uh, the way we use the word magic is more of a general term. It's uh, It can be applied to almost anything, a lot of things that the Bible is not even talking about. Right. So when the Bible's talking about magic, it's talking about the term that you define for witchcraft. People are uh, using charms and enchantments in order to conjure up familiar spirits, demonic entities, so forth, so on. Now, in America, when we use uh, the term magic or somebody's practicing magic, sometimes it can be talking about someone who's using charm spells and demonic entities, or it can be talking about someone who we uh, know as an illusionist, illusionist, or what we call a magician, your rabbit out the hat, your card tricks. That term is used generally for magician but to correctly define it, it's actually an illusionist. Because when God's talking about magic in the Bible, he's not talking about that guy doing card tricks, pulling rabbits out the hat, sawing people in half. That's not the person God's talking about. <laughs> God's talking about them boys who was in uh, Exodus right. with Moses and the rod got thrown down, then their rod got thrown down and things got turned into serpents. He's talking about the lady that... Uh, Paul, not Paul, Saul went to go see when he was trying to figure out what to do after Samuel had died to conjure back up Samuel's spirit. That's what God's talking about when he right. talks about magic. But from the Western term, realizing that we use magic as a general term, while in the Bible, when God used magic, he's using it in a specific term. Great. Great. So the idea that um, if uh, like somebody has a uh, like say want to like you know be like just being practical, being very practical here in the south. Like I've heard guys say that they don't eat red rice because a woman to do such and such and some type of you know uh, witchcraft form or put 
rude on them, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but that's not in no way compared to like uh, people that's like how you saying doing magic tricks, rabbits in the hat, card tricks, you know, things like that. That's just basic illusions. Yeah. All right. So, is that a sin to do card tricks and um, rabbit out the hat and to be an illusionist? Being an illusionist, no. But your intentions can cause you to sin in being an illusionist. So me being an illusionist, um, I do what I do for the sole purpose of entertaining, making people smile, bringing joy uh, to people's lives, um, and also to make money. I, I, I hope to be able to um, make that my full-time career. If you say that that's a sin, then watching your TV is a sin then. Because every TV show and every movie is only presenting to you an illusion. The illusion is so good that after you finish watching the TV show in the midst of watching the TV show, you'll be like, boy, girl, don't go and do that. Or, oh, no, my man, you tripping. I'm realizing that, bro, this is a TV show. They yeah. not sold the illusion to you so well to you think that that's really happening. Uh, our, episodes, our our favorite shows go off and we'll sit there and talk for hours about stuff that happened within it as if it was a real life event that took place. Right. So if you say that, so for those of those believers who would say that illusionists from the way that our brother Harold broke it down, the art in and of itself is wrong, then everybody needs to turn off their TVs disconnect uh, from their Netflix uh, subscription, their Hulu subscriptions, <laughs> get rid of their AT&T Direct TV subscriptions and uh, contracts because you're dealing with illusionists every time you turn on a movie or watch that next episode or binge watch that episode of your favorite television show. Going back to the, um, so we talk about the witchcraft, so what about chakras? Because I know that everybody, what the, what the, what the quote unquote fad now is everybody getting into exercise and the health and they'll do yoga, you know, they'll practice forms of medication, of meditation. And um, like these things with me growing up over the years have been quote unquote taboo at one time in the church. But here yet now, I see some churches having yoga sessions, you know, as a way of ex uh, as a way of exercise, and that you know, just throughout the past, me and me and you've talked throughout the years, is that you cannot separate something from its origin, you know. So that being key, I just want to touch on that. How about yoga? Is it is it is that considered a form of witchcraft? Uh, the very word yoga is to yoke oneself with something else. That's the very word for somebody to be made with one with something else. Now the question is, what are you being made one with? with?